Hey John, here's your uh, 64 scale uh, UPS delivery truck. Uh, we got it finished up last night, had a little bit of time, so I'll pop this one on the bench to go ahead and knock it out for you. Um, again, I'm saying 64 scale. The stuff you sent me is 64. This looks about right. Um, you wanted uh, you wanted for something pretty basic on this one. I did go ahead and go above and beyond. Surprise! Anyway, I went ahead and uh, added some uh, paint and stuff. Not that that's that big of a deal, but anyway, added some paint to your uh, clearance lights in the front, some orange in the front, and then some red in the back. Uh, add a little bit more realism to it. Um, the way this thing sit, it was kind of squatted down in the back. It looked like it was loaded for deliveries. Uh, so I also adjusted that chassis a little bit and uh, reattached it so it would sit a little bit more level. Uh, the way it was sitting before was almost like that. Anyway, it was pushed down too far in the back. So anyway, I fixed that for you. Um, so uh, just steady lights on this one. Also, you wanted flashers. Now, when I went ahead and did, I feel like I'm screaming. I'm, if I am, I apologize. Um, I went ahead and added uh, one of my little circuit boards to this so your front and rear flashers would stay uh, together. In other words, the front flashers would flash simultaneously and then the back ones would as well. If you do use random flash ones, they're always different and you end up having the right one flash and left one and they start wigwagging and everything else. So I know you didn't want that, so I went ahead and added one of my boards to it. Uh, this is wired up so you can hook it into your um, uh, train layout. Uh, again, set for 9 volts. Uh, so it's... Uh, ready to go for you when you get it. Uh, wires are marked and positive and negative so you can hook it right up when you get the thing and get those packages out. We'll go ahead and turn on the uh, power here so I got everything hooked up right which I'll probably... there we go. Cool. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the yellow flashers on uh, with a camera but they are. They do show up pretty well. Let's go to the rear. There's your uh, red flashers. Look like they're flashing so slow on the camera, but they're off on, off on. So you got the flashers in the rear. If I cover that up a little bit, it might make them look a little bit quicker. My camera's just not. There you go. And then we'll spin it to the front. See if I'm going. No, nope, battery didn't unhook. Spin it to the front. And I use the warm white LEDs instead of the hyper white ones, uh, since this, you know, UPS truck obviously they don't have halogen or the uh, xenon type lights in here. I'll cover this up. Might be able to see it. Not drowned it out as much. You can see your get my fat foam out of the way. There you go. You can see your yellow flashers a little bit better with that white. Me blocking out the white light. So, so anyway, nice say a constant pattern. Uh, like I said, they're a little bit more visible that way. Um, so anyway, got the flashers on for you, and I will uh, have this ready to go. I've got your. Um, uh, oh crap! I'm not camera over. I got your 64 scale. Uh, uh, New York State Police Tahoe finished back up. Uh, it's ready to come out. And then I've also got um, your one of your 64 scale Buffalo trucks finished, which you know that because you've already paid me for it. And I'll probably go ahead and try to get these three things shipped out to you. Um, so anyway, just want to get the UPS truck on for you and uh, let you take a look at it. And like I said, I'll get these out uh, shipped out for you. Thanks, John. Appreciate it.